Fortitude, Perseverance, Creativity, 14 Women Artists, an exhibition at Richard Green. Our exhibition celebrates 19th and 20th century women who forged careers in art despite the challenges presented by their era and their sex. Some, like Henrietta Ronna Nip, were children of artists. Others, like haute bourgeoisie Bert Morisot, had to overcome family prejudice against her wish to practice painting seriously. Barbara Hepworth and Elizabeth Frink entered the traditionally masculine arena of large-scale sculpture, gaining international reputations. Susan Valadon, born into poverty in 1865, was earning her own living by the age of 10. Waitress and circus tightrope walker, she taught herself how to draw and furthered her craft by observing painters such as Renoir and Toulouse-Lautrec while modelling for them. Her stylish, bold personality is reflected in Fleurs dans une vase, painted in 1937, with its serpentine blue shadows and strong black outlines. Laura Knight spent from 1907 to 1918 in the Cornish Art Colony, based in Newlyn and Lamorna, among a ferment of ideas and exuberant social life. The Bather, painted around 1916, is a taboo-breaking study by a woman of a nude en planeur. As a teenager at Nottingham School of Art, Knight had been banned from attending the life classes organised for her male peers. Here she reveals, in the emerald green of the rock pool and the oblique unusual viewpoint, her bather, fluidly painted and perfectly relaxed, which exudes Knight's spirit and freedom. Elizabeth Frink embraced her destiny as a sculptor in 1946, her second year at Guildford School of Art, when she was just 17. At 22, she became the youngest living female artist included in the National Collections, when the Tate Gallery bought one of her bronzes. Throughout her career, Frink searched for what it feels like to be fully both a human and an animal being. Horses were a major motif, carrying connotations of wildness, sensitivity and freedom from the mental and physical constraint. Horse in the Rain 4, created around 1984, combines tactile confidence with exacting precision in its modelling, a reflection of Frink's technical understanding of horses, as well as her deep communication with them. The exhibition will be available to view online from the 18th of November.